Hey guys, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So, I had a great weekend, guys. I, um, if you follow me on the blog, I wrote about fall and seven things I wanted to do. And I, um, so far I've done five off the list. I only shared three so far on the blog. But I went apple picking. Guys, I feel like a big kid. I enjoyed it. Um, it was just so fun and it was my first time seeing having been around my friends um, in a long I mean all year because we literally haven't been seeing each other because of you know what's happening so we went and we drove I drove it was like about an hour and 15 minute drive from my house and everybody was coming from different part of New York and that was like the middle ground for all of us so I literally had so much apple that I plan on giving some of my family, which I will see soon. And then um, <laughs> I've been trying to do recipe with it. So I did a breakfast recipe and I absolutely um, loved it. And today I'm going to do something else I will show you guys. And I'm going to try and do a little bit more apple recipe um, just to use them up and also to like try something different because I'm not a really big apple person but these apple guys are so good um I don't know because they're fresh and they're picked when they're ready so it might be a factor in that but I I enjoy it so anyway I'm gonna do a blog post strictly dedicated to all my experience I have a lot of photos I didn't vlog because it was just such a um a, a bonding moment with my friends is something that we're going to treasure because we don't get to do this that often even before the Rona because we all have our you know lives but also the Rona made it even more difficult to us so I wanted to be in the moment so I didn't really record but I did take a lot of pictures so that's why I'm going to just do a, a blog post dedicated to my experience um but for this vlog it will be more about you know the cooking part so what am I reading this bad boy the posthumous memoir of Brass Cubas. This Cuban classic is a hot mess in an interesting way. So this is a dead man, and you are following his mind of how he's explaining his life story. So there's a bit of reality, regret, and some delusion going on too. But as the story unfolds, it gets juicy because the man talks about the women in his life. Some belong to him and some was not his woman that he was having an affair with. So it, it's interesting. His family situation, there's some sad parts. He talks about how his mom died, his, his father, and how it, it, the bond broke between him and his sister. And expectation that his family wants from him while he's you know chasing after this woman so it's all of that and in the story he died in his 60th I believe 63 so you know he got a lot of years of juice to talk about but this feel like somebody's journal and they just took bits and pieces of important things that happened that they wrote about and then it just keep going keep going because these chapters are This is one chapter, guys. This is one chapter. A lot of that, a lot of chapters here are short. The longest is probably like three, four pages. Um, so he's just like getting to the point where this happened, mm, no, this happened here, and that kind of deal. Which I like because it makes it not boring. It makes it not drag because he's just like getting to the point. Next, next, next. But I'm trying to figure out how it's going to unfold because the fact is... What is the idea of writing this as a dead man? Why why is he saying this as a dead man? Not to mention, he alluded, alluded at us at some time, like, we, we the reader. He said it a lot. You know, you know, you the reader and the reader, you know, like, is, is, it, is it us the reader? Or this book is intended for a character in here is reading his memoir. I don't know. I'm get, I'm trying to see if that's what the deal is. So we'll see when it gets to the end. Now, I really wanted to read Burn Sugar this week. Still waiting on that book. Again, the same people who deliver books that I have to resort to because they're the only ones I could get certain books from. Again, drags to get these books. I, I have to wait weeks to see these books. If I could only, like, if I could get another source that I can get a books from that 
is not published yet because this book is not published yet in the US so I have to resort to buying it overseas because of that um, and I, I, I hate my book doing that because why would you freaking put a book on a list that's not published everywhere anyway if it doesn't show up and I, I happen which I'm not that far guys and with them short chapters just imagine how much longer I have to read this probably less now and so I'm gonna try and probably read Octavia Butler the second book in the Lilith, Lilith, Lilith Bruth. Yeah, mm -hmm. that name. That name that always gets me. Um, I'm going to get to this. But this, guys, oh, my eyes is going to kill me. Look, look how small the font is. Why? Why? Oh, why is the font so small? Like, I wear glasses, but damn it, I still don't want to be reading any books that's just the font so small. So, this is going to be a struggle. Struggle. So that's what I am doing, and then I'm gonna show you guys what um my cooking. So I do have some chicken in the oven, which is basically baked fried chicken in the oven, and that's what I'm gonna do with some other stuff. But yeah, so it's gonna be interesting cooking situation this week, guys, and uh, and continue reading. Yay! And I am the last page of my journal, guys. So I did my layout spread already and I'm going to write the last page. I love when I finish a journal. I don't know about you guys. It's so good when you finish a journal. It just feels like, you know, you accomplished something. And this is my second journal that I finished this year. And this one is 183 pages that um, I've been journaling since the 20th. I think I start this on the 20th of May. Yeah. So... 20th of May and it's finishing on 20th of October so that's five months I've been having in this one and I'm gonna start a new one tomorrow so yeah yeah that's where we at guys that's where we at Today been an interesting day. So this morning I was coming through and lo and behold, I saw the mama bear and her three cubs. So that's four of them suckers at the dumpster. And they were just chilling because I literally stopped the car because I was like, wow. And I'm looking at them. So I put the phone out and I thought I was recording this, the, the thing. I thought I was recording them. And I don't know why I, I I literally had the phone like this, and I even drew, when I was driving by, and then when I got to the freaking my house, I realized I never pressed record on the damn phone. I clearly I was out of it because I couldn't believe they were just so calm. They didn't budge. They didn't. I mean, cars was moving by. They didn't budge. They were just like, "This is their. This is their home." <laughs> they're not going anywhere and we've received in the community letters because they cannot do anything the the commission um it basically said they're protected and they cannot re 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 we call it displace them because sometimes what they'll do is this, they will put them asleep not put them asleep but um capture them and relocate them somewhere else and they can't do that um and but the whole time i was thinking how are these kids gonna walk to school like walk to the bus stop because the several kids live in this community and they have to pass that area and it just was ridiculous so anyway i just drove by they're not there so i don't know where they went they went they went somewhere else but i just went to the mailbox and burnt sugar so i got burnt sugar guys so i'm going to read this and you see how small the envelope is the book is tiny the book is tiny I, I was um a little surprised how small the book is so i definitely should be able to 
finish this real quick before the end of the week so yeah that, that's my beer my wildlife story guys these beers this is home for them they're not going nowhere and they're comfortable with human now which is scary because they're not budging they're not running off but they're not attacking because no one's been you know hurt no but you know they're kind of like minding their business <laughs> but it's just so weird so yeah we're, we're gonna hope and pray that they go into their hole soon because it's november coming up usually around november end of november is when they hibernate so we're, we're hoping we hoping guys <laughs> so yeah yeah about to go in the house <laughs> so pretty but damn it my first apple pie <laughs> Presentation is not too bad for a first time apple pie maker because I'm typically a sweet potato pie girl but we're gonna see after this sets for a little bit how it tastes so guys it fell apart when I was taking it out oh this sucks so it wasn't ready I should have waited a little longer but Mm. It tastes really good. Really good. That is It tastes really good, guys. This is a hell yes. <laughs> the presentation, not great, but the taste. And guys, here's the kicker. Low sugar. Literally, it's just the apples. And it's still sweet. So that means the crust had, the crust is good enough. And the apples were really sweet naturally, so I think it, it kind of helped. So that means if I had ha added the sugar that they wanted me to add, it would have been super sweet. But my taste bud, because I've been on this low sugar kick for a while, is different from the normal person. So a normal person that has sugar all the time might not think this is sweet enough for me. It tastes real sweet. So... Probably gonna, my, my coworker wanna slice them. Probably gonna slice and then have them be the judge of if it was sweet enough, you know? So we'll see. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, so yeah, this vlog has been all over the place because I've been adulting, as in AKA cleaning. <laughs> So I am trying to do the most and get rid of the stuff that I was supposed to get rid of from the summer and organize it and it's just, yeah, it's been a one of those week. Um, but I finished one book and the other book I did not finish, but I'm going to talk about it. All right. The Posture's Memoir of um, Brass Cubis. Now this book is uh, cleverly written. It is about uh, a man who is now dead and he's writing his memoir as a dead person. So there's a lot of 
reality and there's some a bit of uh, regret you can tell um reading this that he regrets um things and he you learn about his family his life what he did what he didn't do um his complicated relationships with women and decisions that he um at the end you you how it ends you see why um he felt a certain way. His uh, personality is very um, sarcastic at times, but has a little bit of aggression as well. And I knew early on that that's a personality of somebody who's living with some kind of regret. You can tell. Um, um, overall, it was okay. Um, not what I expected. Um, it did have a creepy element to it. But then there's also um, very realistic in terms of a memoir like this but it, it felt like I said early on someone's journal entry and they piece it together because it only highlight certain um, important parts of his life or uh, a memory like um, oh I remember when this happened that kind of um, um, writing style in this for this um, it's not a boring memoir for sure if, if it was a real memoir, if you know what I mean. Um, but it was done in a way where I thought it was interesting. You get, you do get bits and pieces of life in Brazil in the 1800s. Um, and the, the family dynamic in this and what happened when parents pass away and children have to figure out wealth, <laughs> share the wealth, you know, that kind of deal. Um... I, I, and it's also his, his, his aspiration, his things that he did career-wise, his academic um, life is also interested in this. Um, but overall, it just was um, a regular memoir to me. I felt like I was reading a regular memoir, and not a fiction. And this is supposed to be fiction. Um, so with that said, it was like... It was okay, you know. I, I, um, I'm not gonna say it's, it's a, an amazing story. It's really not. It's, but, um, it is cleverly written. So I, I give him props for that. So then, burnt sugar, guys. I finally got it, and I was hoping to finish it in this vlog, but it's just not happening with all the things that I'm doing. And guys, I did the no-no because that doggy is a couple of these pages because I couldn't find my sticky paper. But anyway. This is a story about a woman whose mother is losing her memory. And uh, it is, I, I was writing because I've been working on my blog for tomorrow. And one of the things I noticed was this is um, a complicated relationship with mother and daughter. And in, in this case, there has been history of, of very bad um, things that happen between them and a lot of it is is in the story she's reflecting back into her youth our young days we're talking very early on memories um you know three four five seven that kind of deal um and it's going back from that to to the present so as more the older she gets you hear you, you um her thoughts on things that happen and how some of it was pretty bad so there's scars and there's things that hasn't been dealt with. So here comes your mother losing her memory. So she gets to not live in that moment of, of any kind of remembrance of, of the horrible things that happened because of her. And then you now have to take care of her knowing that this is eventually she will be a different person. Now the thing is the mother even in the midst of her um, unable to take care of herself because her memory's going. She's doing horrible things to her in the midst of all of that. So imagine being a daughter and your mother is just not the, the, this horrible person, but now she's losing her memory and she's still a horrible person in the midst of the whole of that, and you still gotta take care of her. No, <laughs> that's all. This is an Indian um, culture in this book and. She's uh, married to a man who was raised in America and he's now in India and the way he is behaving, he's constantly like we're trying to to live the American life in India and it's, this is telling a woman who does have no clue of what American life is 
and she has to deal with some of that stuff. I was just like, no, 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 no. He tried it. <laughs> like what? It's 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 a book that I'm I'm. I'm a little pissed off at times. I'm reading this book shaking my head a lot of times of some of the things that's happening in here. I, I do a lot of this. Like, girl, if you don't get the hell out of this <laughs> relationship and run away. But then, you know, there's love there and she's like trapped and she's forced to do something. Guys, this is just, I'm literally only halfway through this and... I'm already feeling this way. So imagine what's going to be like when, as the story unfolds even more. But I can't wait to finish this so I can, you know, give you my full. But this is the fifth book in the Man Poker shortlist. So, and I do see why a lot of people really like this one. Um, I can't give you what I feel yet as far as comparing it to the other four yet. But I will definitely let you know when I'm done how I really feel. And it's going to probably be done this definitely this weekend because um, this is the only book I'm currently reading. So, yeah. And so, I'm going to end this here. And uh, I hope you guys like all the, all the things I was able to do with the apples. Because <laughs> I got to get rid of them. And I did, you know, give away a few. Um... But I only have, I don't have that many left. But that pie was so good, but the presentation was not. Um, I'm hoping now that it's set and I cut it now, it might stay together. But you saw how crumbly it was, but it was good, guys. My first time making apple pie, but it was really good. So anyway, I am going to um, end this and edit and hopefully it, it is available today. <laughs> um, because it's been a long, long, long week. Um, and I'm going to leave this right here and, uh, yeah, that's happening and needs to happen or they're going to continue. Okay. All right.